This is the 2019 Math Kangaroo, levels 9-10, problem number 29. Given triangle ABC of area S, let D be the midpoint of BC. Take points P, Q, and R on lines AB, AD, and AC, respectively, as shown in the picture, and such that AP is 2 times AB, and AQ is 3 times AD, and AR is 4 times AC. What is the area of triangle PQR? A, S, B, 2S, 3S, D, 1 half S, or E, 0. This is the problem as it originally appeared on the test, and here is where we will be doing the solution. To start, the problem tells us that point D is the midpoint of side CB. Therefore, triangles ACD and triangles ABD must have the same area because they have the same height and they have the same base as each has a base of half CB. And we know that the area of triangle ABC is S, so if we split that in two, we know that each of these smaller triangles must have an area of S over 2. So now let's go back to the problem. We know that we're looking for the area of triangle PQR, and we can write this area as being the area of triangle APQ plus the area of triangle ARQ minus the area of triangle APR. Okay, so now we have to think of a way of finding the areas of these triangles, APQ, ARQ, and APR, using the information that we have. Well, we have some ratios. We know that AP is 2 times AB, AQ is 3 times AD, and AR is 4 times AC. So, it might be a good idea to write the areas of the other triangles as being somehow related to those ratios as well as S, because that's really the only area we have is that the area of triangle ABC is S. So let's write them all in terms of S. So let's start by going over how to find the area of a triangle using sign. So if we have a triangle, let's say A is that side length and this side length is B, and this angle is C, we can write the area as being one half A times B times sine C. Okay, so let's start by writing the area of triangle APR in terms of S. So let's compare <clears throat> the area of APR to the area of ABC, which is S. So using the formula we have just written down, we can write the area of triangle APR as being one half times AP times AR times the sine of angle PAR, which is right here. And we can write the area of triangle ABC as being one half times AB times AC times the sine of angle BAC. And as you can see, angle PAR and angle BAC are vertical angles, so they must have the same uh, measure. 
So the sine of PAR must be equal to the sine of BAC because they are basically the same angle as far as measurement. So we can cancel those two things out because they're equal to each other. We can also cancel out the one halves, leaving us with AP times AR over B AB times AC. And as we saw earlier in the problem, AP is 2 times AB, and AR is 4 times AC. So this ratio would simplify to 2 times 4, which is 8. So the area of APR is equal to 8 times the area of ABC. And again, we know that the area of triangle ABC is S, so the area of triangle APR must be equal to 8S. Okay, good. We've written APR in terms of S. Now, let's do the same with APQ. Again, we can write the area of APQ as being 1 half times AP times AQ times the sine of angle PAQ. And we can write the area of triangle ABD as being 1 half AB times AD times the sine of angle BAD. And again, those two angles are the same because they're vertical angles. So the sine of them must also be the same, so we should be able to cancel them out. And again, the one halves. And we're left with AP times AQ over AB times AD. And again, like we already talked about, AP is 2 times AB, and AQ is 3 times AD. So this ratio would simplify to 2 times 3, which would be the area of APQ is equal to the air 6 times the area of ABD. And again, we know that the area of ABD is S over 2. So 6 times S over 2 would give us 3S. So good. Again, we've written the area of triangle APQ in terms of S. Now, the last one we're going to do is the area of ARQ. The area of ARQ is equal to 1 half... AR times AQ times the sine of angle RAQ. And the area of ACD is equal to 1 half AC times AD times the sine of angle CAD. Again, these two angles are vertical angles, which means that they are equal, so we can simplify that and the 1 halves. So we will have that AR times AQ over AC over AD. And again, we already talked about how AR is 4 times AC and AQ is 3 times AD. So this simplifies to 4 times 3, which means that the area of triangle ARQ must be equal to 12 times the area of ACD, which again is equal to S over 2. So 12 times S over 2, we get that the area of triangle ARQ is equal to 6S. So just to review, we've written the area of all these triangles in terms of S because, again, that's basically the only area that we do know. And we've used the ratios um, to write everything in terms of S. So now let's go back to what we talked about before we can just substitute. We know what the area of APQ is. It is 3S and then plus 6S, which is the area of ARQ, minus 8S, which is the area of triangle APR. So this simplifies to 9S minus 8S, which guess what? Simplifies to just S. The area of triangle PQR turns out to be equal to that of ABC. 
And as we can see, this is answer choice A, S. Thank you so much for watching, and please like, comment, and subscribe.